Writing Workshop with Cool Cat Court. In the last lesson, we saw that narrative writers can use sources to create powerful realistic fiction with action, description, and dialogue. In this lesson, I will show you how to plan a narrative by figuring out the climax of your story. Point to your learning target. Writers can plan a narrative by figuring out the climax of their story. You will be successful if you figure out the climax of your narrative and make a quick sketch of it. Let's get ready by making a story planner. Take a piece of paper and divide it into four sections, beginning, middle, climax, and end. For this lesson, we are going to focus on the climax because narrative stories build up to a climax, the most exciting, intense part of the story where the problem is solved. It's like a mountain. You climb up and up and up until you reach the summit. A story builds up and up in intensity until it reaches the climax. When you figure out the climax of your story, you know where your story is going. You know what it is building up to. And you can also figure out what your story is all about, the big idea of your story. I will help you work on the big idea or theme in the next lesson. But for now, let me show you how to plan a narrative by figuring out the climax of your story. We will need a story planner, and we will need to look at your assignment and our notes from the sources. Let's review your assignment. You have decided to write a story about finding a lost pet. Now let's review our notes from the sources. And now, let's brainstorm. Hey, look at these notes here. What if a dog was on a rope? Or what if our neighbor had a dog on a rope and the rope broke? And what if the dog rushed up and put its paws on my shoulders? No, what if the dog put its paws on my wife's shoulders since she is afraid of dogs? And what if the dog was actually shaking in fear. I think I have figured out a climax for my story. Do you see how I took ideas from our sources? But then I felt free to change them to create an interesting situation, an intense, exciting climax. I think the climax of my story will take place in my front yard when my neighbor walks up with a dog on a rope. Now I'll draw a quick sketch on my story planner. This is my neighbor, Jose. This is the dog breaking free of the rope. This is my wife, Abby. This is the dog putting its paws on her shoulders and shaking in fear. This feels like a really intense, exciting scene. Abby is afraid of dogs, and she sees a big dog breaking free of its rope and rushing up and putting its paws on her shoulders. How scary! But then it turns out, the dog is the one shaking in fear. That sounds like a great climax. Now, what about your story? The climax of my story takes place in my front yard, when my neighbor walks up with a dog on a rope. But you might have a different idea when you look at the sources. You can brainstorm a list of ideas and then choose the one you like the best. Here's our first idea. You could find a pet when it runs up to you in your yard. Do you want to use the same climax I used? Or do you have another idea to add to the list? Maybe you could find a pet under the Christmas tree. Your parents surprise you with a pet as a Christmas present. Let's add it to our brainstorm list. You could find a pet at an animal shelter. Choose the idea you like best. Then, draw a sketch on your story planner, just like I did. Just a quick sketch. Stick figures are best. Now I have a question. 
Were you successful? Now that I have figured out the climax of my story, I know where my story is going. I know what my story is building up to, and I will be able to figure out what my story is going to be about, what the big idea is going to be. But that's another lesson. See you then. And remember, stay cool.